This is the reason I don't fuck with YouTubers because they always they they're too full of themselves. Miss Funky Dineva. People online are just too used to me, but when people see me for the first time or see me in person, you can't fake that reaction. It's the truth. They, it's you can say what you want. I am different. I am special, sweetheart. You don't have to like that, but it's true. <laughs> oh, it's arrogant. Cool. Call what you want, but it's true. And I'm going to follow the lead. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep chasing a dead end. Like, oh, I want to help. I want to help. I want to help. But you're not gonna let me help. But these people, right away. You need to meet this person. This is this the, the other woman. She got her own dance studio, her own dance school, and she was asking me, "Do you, have you ever instructed before?" Because she was saying, "I really loved your your lines and your, I mean, these are I, dancing terms." But I'm like, I don't even want to say that I'm not professional, like I'm not trained, because I know that everybody's under the impression I went to school for this. Clearly, like, but it's if I tell them that it was literally just God gave me these moves, then they're gonna take it like I'm just making it up, but it's, I, I'm telling you facts. God, anything you like about me, God gave it to me from my voice to my dancing. There is no training. Like I did not, I would love training. Even now, I, if someone told me now we will pay for you to go to get trained full, like we will pay, but you got to go to the boot camp for your, for your training and all that, that would be a dream to me. I'm not against that, but that I'm this good with no training who can deny people are just crazy. People are crazy and very jealous. And it's just, I, I, people think I like that. I'm actually not liking that. It's not a, you don't know what it's like to have people be jealous of you because if you did, you wouldn't take it as a compliment because when people are jealous of you, they go out of their way to hinder you. That's the part they don't talk about. They try, they go out of their way to make it to where you don't get opportunities because of that jealousy makes them do things to hurt your opportunities. Confirmation. And then they try to spin it like it was something that you did, like your shortcomings. You just couldn't cut it. When in all actuality, these people went out of their way. Your name got mentioned in a room. Oh, her? I knew her. She got into a street brawl one time. I saw her fighting out in the street. Miss Funky Dineva. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, my thing is, even with her, Miss Thing, you knew what time it was. For anything what you talk about online. Because I don't, I, see, I am who I am. I don't, I'm not a character. So when you saw me, you, you must have remembered when I told you. Because when you saw me in Los Angeles, you didn't come to me with no stupid energy. You came to me very respectful. But what I'm saying is, you clearly know me. And this is a girl who, after she acted like she had some sense in Los Angeles, I thought, maybe I had her wrong. Maybe he's not a clown. Like, that's how I kind of viewed him, in my opinion. Like, I'm going to be real, but that's how I saw it. But okay, fine. Like, maybe he, there is more to him. So while we were out there in Los Angeles, I took that as, okay, we, we talked, you know what I'm saying? Myself and the other few uh, influential gay, black, whatever. But there were other things about her that I thought were messy, but that's fine. That's just a part of her. But the point of it was, I was genuine. We exchanged information, but what it showed me was, this is just another fake Hollywood friend. This ain't a real person. Because I'm too genuine for this. Like, I'm calling to just be a friend. Like, hey, how are you? We talked maybe one time. After we lost in Los Angeles, we talked maybe one time. And again, all I can do is be really me. But from that one time, maybe I reached out to him a few other times. Like, hey, you know, me and some girls are going out. If you're free, you know, come on out. She might respond like three days later. Oh, girl, I was sleeping. Girl, you can stay asleep. Because I don't care who you are. Like, I'm not, you ain't important enough for no one to chase down like that. I wanted to get to know you as a person. You're a colleague, but I wanted to get to know you. But if they got to be all of this, this is the reason I don't fuck with YouTubers because they always, they, they're too full of themselves. You know what I'm saying? It's like, girl, please. I, I don't, I'm not impressed with none of that. I didn't been around girls bigger than you, money long. You ain't nothing for me to, oh, miss this, miss that. Please. So I, I fell off with that because I'm like, I'm not chasing her down. She ain't no, I, I'm me. I'm quite dear. Period. So I don't chase nobody down. You don't, if you, you, we have each other information. I called you because we're colleagues and you acted like when we was out there because after I told you, but see some time had passed through after that fight. So I was like, girl, cause I was going to whoop her ass. And she knew that she got like she didn't, but she knew cause I told her direct, straight to her face. See, I'm not these, I'm not these other girls, but what it was is that officer got came as I was coming to you and he said, you got to leave now or I'm going to have to put you, you have to get locked up. Did that not happen? It did happen. And what I'm saying is, it just goes to show, I'm the only real bitch in the room. 
period. That's the end. Because all these other bitches, I feel like when you spoke to me in Los Angeles, it was really just because you were scared. Because you knew, because I talked about it on YouTube, and then you also knew that you were the girl who was sitting up there trying to be messy. And then you also remembered that what I told you, I was about to beat your ass. Didn't and that what happened? And your friends wasn't trying to save you. Because girl, they moved away. If my memory serves, you was sat there by yourself. So it just that's what I mean when I say good friends you can't pay for. Because to me, I'm like, I'm a gay black man like you. And you think that this is entertainment for me to be fighting like this? And the only reason why I'm fighting is because these bitches are bullies. I didn't come out here to fight just to fight. But I didn't like that. We supposed to be colleagues. There's no camaraderie. That's what I'm saying. So I said, now you see why I don't fuck with gay men. Like, in particular, gay social media people. Because it's, it's, it's not real. It's no real camaraderie. No real friendship. So I was like, yeah, I'm good. But anyway, when I saw him in Los Angeles... He was acting all shy and shit, like, trying to see if I was going to pounce on him because he remembered, he had to have remembered from that night. But anyway, he he knew it was me. He going to talk about some. Um, was that you who got into that fight one time in the parking lot? Yes, my dear, it was me. So if you remember that part, that, mean, that means you remember the whole thing. So, yeah, every, you better be glad. First of all, I'm not going to, what I look like, I'm going to beat you up at a fucking nice thing like this. That's number one. But number two, I'm grown. Some, enough time had passed through from the, from the time that fight happened to the time I ran into her at that event. Enough time had gone by. Bitch, you're not big enough on my list. But the thing of it was is then you took my... It's just the fakeness. I don't have time for fakeness. Like, But that's what I say to myself. And I want to have real friends. I don't need industry friends. I want real friends. I don't need to have friends that are, oh, it's a YouTuber, it's a this, it's a that. I got a bunch of blog friends and girl and they'll write a negative story about you just like anybody else oh remember how quick who was it wendy williams and nini that's all fake like i don't, I don't want those kind of friends oh my friend oh my good friend from the reality show and all because then it's just it's all for a storyline it's all to put you it's all to get your tea and you thinking that's your friend and they're gonna put you to a story girl please no I was the only real nigga in the room. I'm going to always say that. Until someone can show me where it wasn't true. <laughs> show me where it wasn't true. I got so many people in this industry who you're not going to tell me that these bitches, my name have come up. But now I'm about to just oh, usurp them. Like, you, I don't need your help. I'm going to get discovered in real life. I'm not going to wait for some bitch to find me online. I'm going to put myself out there in person and allow for my talent. Whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen in person, bitch. Because what I see is when you do shit online, then you got to worry about YouTube in there, algorithms in there, rules in there, this in there, that. And, you know, are they going to shadow ban? And are they going to censor you? And are they going to... You got to worry about all of that. And I, uh -uh. I'm, I, I want to be able to speak freely, perform freely, and do what God is telling me to do and do it with love and passion and joy. And I have to be wrapped up into the politics and semantics and, well, did they mean that? Did they mean this? No, I like people who say what they mean and mean what the fuck they say. Don't got to mince words. Don't got to say shit two and three and four and five fucking times. And when they said it once, they meant it. Period. That's it. If I said I liked you, it's because I like you. Now, you you, you show me something different that's not in character for you. Now I got Now my opinion can change. I'm not a person who, oh, I liked you yesterday. And even though now I found out you're a rapist, and you killed three, you're a serial killer, you killed three different bitches, means what? Oh, I still love him? No, girl, because I'm away from that. I don't support that. So why would I, you get what I'm saying? I just, people are funny, baby. I want to be put to a point in my life where, hold on a second, family. I want to be put to a point in my life where I just want to be around like-minded people who work like I work, who, who love the work that they do and are excited to do it and, like, don't take forever to respond. Like, I love this, so I wake up, I want to check my email and see if there's something new and see what emails do I need to respond to and what edits do I need to do. I love what I do. I want to work. You could just like to talk and want to sit around the wine cooler all day, uh, the water cooler. Okay, with wine coolers, okay? And want to just sit up there all damn day.
talking about what exactly? I don't, I don't, I don't, I want to get about the, my, my father's business. If that's not what you want, I don't want you. Now, what do you understand about that? So I can tell it to you a different way. I, I'll do how they say, good night, farewell. I'll be in that saying good night. <laughs> Bitch, I can hit you and I can hit you. I can hit you with a harmony. I can hit you. Adios. Hasta la vista. Alfira said. Start to say jumbo, but I think jumbo means welcome and come through. No. So what is it? Combo, not jumbo. Or gumbo, bitch. It gotta be something. Cause I ain't trying to invite no spirits into my home, man. 